Hi, it's dinner time and neither one of us is cooking. Well, we've been there before. <laughs> I can't say anything else. I feel else. like it's... every dining vlog opens with, we didn't feel like going grocery shopping or cooking. Yeah, it's a problem, but, but you know, it's a fine. It's good for you. Yeah, and in this right. case, Ed also wanted beer because he's been feeling like having a beer. So your timing is good. City yeah. Works Poorhouse here at Disney Springs just opened. I think there's 72 or more beers on tap, so I'm I not don't gonna care about the beer. Them, I'm going to have some food. Maybe I'll have a drink, but not a, I don't know. We'll see. Let's head in. I will definitely have a beer. so many beer options. I'm gonna stick to the IPAs, but there are 90. I said 70, I don't know where I got that from. There are 90 beers on tap. My job. I'm having a really hard time deciding what to get, because there's a very expansive list, but they do have flights, and there is a hoppy flight, which is perfect for someone like me. Hopefully they're all great. Uh, three of them are local to Florida, and one is from Colorado and I've had none of them before, so it's kind of perfect. In case you can never tell before, I am not the beer drinker in the family. I leave that expertise to Ed, but I am gonna get a drink tonight. They have a burnt orange old fashioned that for some reason is speaking to me tonight, and our server said it's one of the most popular drinks. I'm going for that. Not only are there a ton of beer options, there's a lot of food options. They are sorted nicely. There's mains and handhelds, which also includes burgers and chicken sandwiches, things like that. There's a taco section. There's a lot of different options, but they all seem to have good flavors to them, which is a good sign. Ed wasn't kidding when he was talking about the size of this menu. But I think we narrowed down what we're getting for dinner tonight. It's happy hour, so Kung Pao cauliflower is on special. We have to get that. And then for dinner, we like Impossible Burgers, so we're gonna share an Impossible Burger and Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Drinks just arrived, Ed has a nice beer flight, and I have a burnt orange old fashioned. And I have a new favorite drink on property. That is really good. You can taste the orange strong in the old fashioned, which I happen to like, but you still also get the whiskey in it. But there is that little bit of like smoky orange, almost like burnt honey. Oh, I like this one. My beer just arrived and they all look really good. Each beer is in the cute little beer glass. It's supposed to co correspond with the style of beer that you had. So that was really cool because if you were to pick like a Hefeweizen, you could have that glass or you could kind of go through it but um, I didn't, they're all IPAs, and that's good for me. The Kung Pao cauliflower is roasted cauliflower, sweet peppers, green onions, a whole bunch of spice and flavor, fried peanuts, and a sweet and spicy tamari. This Kung Pao cauliflower, number one, it's steaming. I don't know if the camera's catching that, but you can smell the sweet and the spicy on this. Let's go for it. Okay, the steam is accurate. It's hot. It's also hot, spicy in a good way. It's not overpowering. And it has the sweetness of that chili. It smells really good. Yeah, it has a lot of flavor, a lot. It's really good, and like Jason said, it's not overly spicy. I mean, to our palates anyway, it's not overly spicy. Uh, there are definitely chili peppers if you wanted super spicy, but I'm not gonna eat those. It's really good, and I'm gonna take one more bite before I pass it over. The Nashville hot chicken has a buttermilk breaded chicken breast, hot cayenne pepper, romaine, cucumber, tomato, red onion, ranch dressing, and a flour tortilla. The Impossible Burger has an Impossible Patty, lettuce, tomato, red onion, a vegan roasted garlic horseradish aioli. So apparently I'm just going for everything spicy today. When I ordered the Nashville hot chicken wrap, the waitress looked at me and said, you like spicy, right? Because it's really hot. 
I looked at her and I got a little bit worried. I said, can you tone it down? And keep in mind, I do like spicy food for some reason, the way she said it. I was a little worried. She's like, no, but I can bring you some extra ranch. I'm sold. All right, so it is an impossible burger, so obviously it's well done, because that's the only way it really goes. But, um, let's go to the shop. It is an impossible burger, so it is cooked one way, but it doesn't matter because it's meatless. What I do like is that they added a uh, horseradish sauce on top, so it has a little more flavor. Because impossible is good, but it, you know, they needed something else to kind of give it a kick. So I thought that was a nice touch. All right, let's see how hot is hot. Okay, she wasn't kidding, that's spicy. It's not overly spicy, but if you think about the different dishes you eat where sometimes that spice creeps up on you, this one is forward, kick you in the mouth, high end kind of spice, but then it just stays there. It's not really building, but I imagine as I go bite by bite, it's going to build and add on. The Brussels sprouts, however, which I opted for as a side, I was excited when they had the Kung Pao cauliflower. I said, ooh, their Brussels sprouts might be amazing. They're not bad, but they are nothing spectacular as compared to the Kung Pao cauliflower. It is just kind of like a steamed and slightly grilled Brussels sprout with the dressing on it. I like it, but for me it really fell short on the heels of that Kung Pao cauliflower. All right, so I'm gonna be honest. Um, the appetizer was outstanding, and then it, the entrees were not. We ended up sharing one half of the sandwich we dressed, so we could kind of try everything and talk about it with you. And there was nothing to talk about. Uh, for me, I think the burger was fine. I liked that it had horseradish sauce, but it was otherwise unremarkable. Um, fries were fine. Nashville hot chicken, it had no sauce on top and they kind of poured it on top. It was just more adding heat than any flavor whatsoever. We did not finish that one, so. Just to add to what Ed said, there wasn't anything wrong with the food. It just didn't follow suit of that Kung Pao cauliflower. We were super excited for everything we ordered. I will be back because the food was good, but I will certainly order dishes other than what we ordered tonight. And the Brussels sprouts that I had were an upcharge instead of fries. I don't know that I'd do that again because they just weren't inventive or anything. They just were a side of Brussels sprouts. Next time I'll just go for the fries because those were good. But yeah, just a letdown after the Kung Pao. Nothing's wrong with it necessarily though. But we all know my favorite meal anyway is dessert. So we are gonna give dessert a try. There's quite a few options on here. Our waitress suggested the s'mores dip, which we are, I love s'mores, but we are gonna pass on that. We're gonna try the peanut butter Snickers pie because how can you go wrong with Snickers or pie? That's mine. I'm more excited than I should be. Pardon me. Wow. It's like a mousse almost texture. It is like Snickers and Reese's had a beautiful love child and we're all here to adorn them with gifts. This is amazing. You can have a little. Ed's description is spot on. That hit my mouth and it just made me salivate happiness. That just redeemed the rest of the meal. Again, not that it was bad, but the bookends of this meal were fantastic. Okay, that meal was a little bit of a roller coaster, but not bad. It was. Yeah, the entrees, I just didn't love them. I, tell me if you agree with me, we, I would certainly come back to City Works. I wouldn't order those two entrees again. I would try something different or stick to the shareable plates. Yeah, I read a few of the descriptions for the shareables or appetizers mm -hmm. and they all sounded pretty good. There was some duck nachos that also sounded good to oh, me. Oh, I saw those come out to tables yeah. a couple times. That looked really good. I think we just ordered items that weren't as exciting as the appetizer we ordered. 
could be. I mean, like you said, nothing was bad, but certainly it was underwhelming. It fell short of yeah. that Kung Pao cauliflower. And then the meal ended with a fantastic dessert. Yeah, really yummy. So maybe we just ordered from the wrong section of the menu for them. Who knows? Because again, not bad. Just did not live up to the other two items we had. Yeah, and the Kung Pao cauliflower really must be very good because the waitress and the manager stopped yeah, over to talk to us about that's yes. their favorite thing. So maybe that's just the one thing to really come for and really enjoy. And, and, and certainly the other shareables looked delicious as they were yeah. going to tables too. So we'll come back again. We're definitely going to try to order more of those smaller bites off the menu and, and share those. Yeah. But I'm happy to have another option here at Disney Springs. Yeah. The drinks were good. Yeah. I mean, I like that there's a beer bar here. You know, we had wine bars and things like that. And oh, yeah. Kind of rounds out. Cocktail all that. places. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I thought it was a good option. And there is also a walk up window for beer and things like that. So I thought that Oh, because was you can walk in Disney yeah. Springs with your drink. So you could yeah. grab something as you're walking by. Right. So you're not limited with your beer options walking around because there really are 80, no, 90 something, yeah. she said. There may be 90 <laughs> beers here. So yeah. So we will be back. Yeah. We will order differently off of the menu, but I'm happy to have this as a new establishment here at Disney Springs. Sure. If you loved watching us try out a whole bunch of food and drink tonight, be sure to give this video a giant thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to be notified where our next destination might be. And hit the bell icon to be notified when we get there.